Cleaning the Platen Remove the pail by raising platen and using the blow off button. Lower the ram so the platen is resting flat against the base plate. Disconnect the blow off air hose at the blow off port. Remove the clamp at the large flange connection where the platen attaches to the pump lower. If the platen doesn't independently separate from the pump, use the air controls to slightly raise the platen off of the base plate. Then, using open hands on opposite sides of the platen, apply downward hand pressure to break the seal. When the platen is loose from the pump lower unit, continue raising the ram until the lower unit clears the platen. Move the ram director valve handle to neutral to stop raising the ram. Slide the platen out from under the pump lower and lower the ram as far as possible. If more than flushing of the pump is necessary, follow the steps in the pump manual for cleaning the pump lower unit. Remove the cap nuts and disassemble the platen assembly. Remove blow off port. Remove the bleed valve. Remove the retainer plate, wiper and backer support wipers from the platen. Inspect seals for damage, replace as necessary. Apply food safe lubricant on seals during assembly. Replace the backer, then the main wiper, followed by the retainer plate with its curved side down. Reinstall bleed valve with appropriate thread sealer. Reinstall blow off port. Tighten the cap nuts hand tight, then torque to 40 to 50 inch pounds in a crisscross pattern. If necessary, remove the lower unit of the pump and disassemble for cleaning as specified in the pump manual. Raise the ram and locate the platen under the pump lower. Move fingers and tools out of the way and slowly lower the pump into the platen. Attach the platen to the pump lower at the flange and reattach the blow-off hose to the blow-off port on the platen, routing the hose through the sanitary clamp handle eyelets. This concludes the daily maintenance and cleanup of the Santa Force pail unloader system.